Hi everyone, Kieran Oversapien here and welcome to Filmstorm Studios and I'm really excited to show you guys the new Filmstorm character creator. And basically these past couple of weeks I've actually been doing a lot of courses on C Sharp and I've decided to actually write my own plugin for Unity to simplify the character creation process and to be able to create an asset which pretty much works straight out of the box for you. So as you can see We've got pretty much an empty scene. The only object in here is a pistol right now. So it's just basically just an empty gun object. Um, we'll just crank that back down. And all you need to create the character is a model. So you can see I've got a set as a humanoid rig. And all you have to do is drag that into the scene. So you can see he's right there. And as you can see, there is no camera um, in the scene right now. And I can show you that by clicking play. It's gonna say, oh, there's no, no cameras. Basically, my plugin also creates the cameras all on, on the fly. So there's two ways of doing it. Let me show you the first way. You can just drag your character model in there, drag the pistol into here, and then click setup player. And if I come and click play, voila instant player and it sets up all the animations all the blending all the weapon systems and let me shoot something so you can see that it sends the um, the rigid bodies perfectly and perfect equipping and unequipping and we've also got running so that is a super simple system that I've created um, there's also the other way of doing it and I know a lot of people like to have custom cameras so this is why I put this exception in so say we drag the player out brand new player and say we also have a camera in the scene so say you um, don't need to position it it automatically positions but say you come in and like your rendering scripts to customize your your camera or make it look black and white and stuff so say you, you put all that stuff in and then you come up to filmstorm character creator you grab the player and you grab the pistol and then you've also got a custom camera so you can grab that camera chuck that in here click set up again and it's going to use this camera instead and here you go it still all works the same way and then if I click out of here and I come to here you can see it's using this this camera and I can actually show you this by just calling this camera something ridiculous like custom camera that's something ridiculous in my book and um, we'll just shoot something bam 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 custom camera so it all sets that up to your custom camera as well so this is really cool and you've also in the in here we've got uh, custom settings so you can change like how sensitive your input is um, the rotation speed of the character, input delay, um, that's actually just a generic speed value of how fast you're going. I'm also setting up ejection shells for pistol right now, and I'm also going to be putting a rifle and shotgun in there, and also allowing them to just be sitting around the scene and the player to be able to pick up and drop weapons. So um, that's going to be really cool, I'm just um, implementing that at the moment. and. Also, we've got X, Y, and Z for camera distance. And let me just give you a rough idea. You can't change the Z distance in game because that's actually um, getting driven on the fly. I'm actually not sure if you, if we click out, we might be able to adjust it. It might actually just go back. Say if we adjust those. Yeah, see, it, it, these, these values are stuck, but you can't adjust this one while it's in play. So if you want to have the distance um, back a bit, you can chuck that back and you can see that we've got like this really wide angle now so that's a, a really fast way to to customize that and you can also customize the height of uh, that as well so see how um, it sits a lot higher if that's what you're going for but since I'm not really for that let's go back 2.9 and something like that I think actually I dragged the height down a little bit. So let's just pump that up a little bit. And also you can see we have third person aiming distance, which basically speaks for itself. It's when you're in, in here, how close you want the camera to be behind the player. So if you set this to like 0.5 and then go in, you can see that you have this really nice over the shoulder kind of feel. 
and then you can um, you can see that. And you also notice when you when you aim, the reticle appears. Instead of just being on the screen all the time, it, it comes in when when you need it, which is also a nice little addition. Um, what else can I show you? Uh, it's basically um, on setup. You'll notice if I take out the the character again, bring him in, you'll notice he doesn't have any animator. So we basically also set that up uh, at the very beginning when we drag our player model in. Voila, and then it, it automatically imports my custom movement um, animator controller for you and it will all come included in the package. And speaking of the package, I'm gonna be putting it on Gumroad to begin with and depending on how well that's going, I'll put it on the asset store as well. I have to check what the terms and conditions are. If, if I'm allowed to sell in two places, I might have to take it off Gumroad then, but um, I'll get to that very soon. And um, yeah, we've got heaps of all these things. You can see it all turning on and off while it's playing. I'm gonna put this into a debug menu so you can disable it if you don't wanna see all this random stuff. Um, but yeah, you've also got like hit force. So I mean, if you put, pump that to 500, you'll notice that these things will go off the chain. Bam, bam. You'll probably see that these will fly like f right back. <laughs> you can probably wipe a couple of them out at the same time. There you go. Now you'll notice um, one thing that um, that isn't implemented yet is aim offset. So basically the animation that drives him looking up and down. Um, but we've got the full um, equip unequipped for full the pistol right now. So that looks really nice. And you can also, you can pull it up in any state. He puts it away in any state and it all looks really nice because I'm actually blending in a lot of the float values and blending them out again. So basically this is the Filmstorm character creator in action and I'm really excited to show you. This has taken me like ages to, <laughs> to pretty much figure out how to code everything, but it's gonna save you guys a lot of time and it's also gonna save you from buying Playmaker uh, because it's basically a script and it all just does itself. It works right out of the box. You don't have to worry about any of the visual scripting stuff and I'm gonna really refine um, this menu um, as I go to make it as seamless as possible to set up things. And I'm also gonna create a, a weapon holder. So basically you can customize weapon values nice and easy. And also when you walk around the scene, there'll be, you can pick up weapons and drop weapons, which I think is gonna be really nice. Kind of like um, Uncharted, the way that kind of works if you need a reference. So thanks everyone for checking this out. Uh, I really hope you guys check it out when it comes up on Gumroad. It'll probably be out in probably a couple of weeks or so. Along with um, on Gumroad is on the 1st of June is the GTA full tutorial series on how to set up your own character, set up um, some sort of vehicle, very simple vehicle. We're not going too overboard with it and um, getting in and out and basically everything you saw in that original um, intro GTA um, video. So I'm really excited to show you guys all that. And I hope you guys check out this asset when it comes online. I'm really excited, I've been working on it for ages and it's gonna save all you guys a heap of time and it's gonna just keep refining itself as we go. So thanks guys for checking this out and I hope you're excited, I'm excited and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.